It's very common for soldiers in the 18th century, especially when they were on the march, they'd be issued uh, their, their rations uh, maybe several days ahead of time. Uh, they'd be issued uh, several days of meat, and then they'd be issued uh, their, their flour, their bread ration. And because they were going to be uh, gone for a while, uh, they would likely be given just flour instead of bread, as that would just go bad. And so there they were on the march with uh, not very much equipment to use, and all they had was flour, and they'd have to make some kind of food with it. Today we're going to make a fire cake or ash cake, uh, a very, very simple uh, thing that the soldiers would be able to make with just the flour and a little bit of water. So what are we going to need to make ash cake? Well, number one, we're going to need to have good ashes. We're going to have to have a really nice ash bed to work with, good and hot. So we don't have very much equipment. Uh, we're going to uh, try to do this with uh, three different uh, methods. We're going to use a simple uh, bannock board, or if you don't have a, a board like this, maybe you could just use a, uh, a half split of, of firewood uh, that's nice and flat. We're also going to use a method uh, where we put leaves around our, our uh, fire cake or our ash cake. Uh, so all you're going to need for that is some, some large leaves, like a grape leaf or a large tree leaf. Um, uh, burdock or, or cabbage leaves, something like that. And the last method, uh, we're not going to use anything at all. We're just going to make our cake and we're going to place them right on the coals. So now our coals are getting really close to being ready to use. Let's make up our dough. I've got a, a simple wooden bowl here for us to make our dough in, the flour that we've been issued. And I'm going to make up uh, three or four ash cakes here. If you have any salt available to you, which the soldiers may or may not have had had salt that day or that particular time, but uh, salt will add a lot to the taste of your uh, fire cake. So in this case, we're going to add a good bit of salt to it. And we're gonna stir that around while our, while our ingredients are still dry. So it'll be easy to mix. And now we're gonna need some water we add enough water to make a stiff paste. And we're going to start out with maybe a little less than we need so that we don't go overboard. For the uh, ash cakes that we're going to cook on the, uh, on the bannock board, uh, we're going to uh, get this to be a little stickier because we need to uh, stick it to the board. It needs to stay there while it's cooking. Okay, we've got our uh, dough mixed up. It's uh, nice and the right kind of consistency. Uh, a little stiff, but still uh, sticky enough to work with. And I've got this. We're gonna take this one, we're gonna flatten it out on our bannock board. We're gonna get it nice and, and uh, thin. The thinner, the better it's going to cook. We need to make sure that it's sticky enough that it sticks to the board. Our board's got two holes in it uh, so that we can prop it up Let's uh, put this up by the fire and let this cook while I'm working on the other ones. Okay, we got the fire banked up a little bit higher on this spot and I'm gonna place the board. I don't wanna get it too close so it catches on fire, but I can feel the heat here. That feels pretty good. Got our little stick here. Prop it up at an angle. And that feels really good. We're gonna let that cook. Let's use leaves for our next uh, fire cakes. I'm gonna keep watching that one to make sure it doesn't burn, but here's, a, here's our next fire cake. Let's take out a dough section here, and we're gonna make it into a, uh, a patty. We don't make it as thin as that, but, you know, thin-ish. We're gonna uh, make it uh, in relationship to the size of our, our leaves. I've got here uh, some um, some wild grape leaves and a, uh, some cottonwood leaves. Uh, depending on the time of the year, you know, different leaves are going to work better than other ones. But you want a nice big leaf that's going to protect your, your fire cake. So let's use a grape leaf on the inside because a little bit of the taste does end up on the fire cake. We're going to put grape leaves on the inside and then do a extra, little extra protection because the leaves are going to slowly burn through. Now we're going to put the uh, the cottonwood leaves on and I've got a really nice uh, coal section here we're just going to place this uh, right onto the coals since it's got the coals right on top and below it it's not going to take that long to cook three four maybe five minutes 
uh, that's something you're going to judge. You're not going to be able to tell. So it, it takes a little experience to know uh, when that when it's ready to come out. The ash bed is really important that you're cooking on. Uh, if your ashes are gray, they're probably uh, already too cool to do any cooking on, like these uh, this color. Uh, this white hot ash over here, whew, it's really warm. Uh, that's the kind of ash we're cooking with, uh, the stuff that's still white. If it's gray, it's gotten too cold to cook with. Our bannock board uh, biscuit looks like it still needs a little bit of time to cook. It's, it's not even, it's, I'll have to turn it over pretty uh, shortly, but this one's probably ready to come out. It's, it's been about four minutes or so. I'm just gonna lightly scrape off our ashes from the top. And I'm going to scoop the whole patty out. And there it is. Let's put it on top of this board so we can see how it turned out. There we are. Feels like this one's just about done. I could have probably left it in another minute or two, but it's still hot. It's still cooking. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, set this off to the side where it'll stay warm, but it's still hot, so it's still cooking on the inside. Our bannock board uh, uh, fire cake over here, you can see it's starting to brown up along the bottom side, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the board so the other side of the, uh, the top side of it can cook. We wanna be real gentle when we turn this over so that we don't knock the, the bread off. And I'm gonna tilt this a little bit further, ouch, so that, because our coals are getting a little cooler, but they're still really warm right there, so it should cook right up. All right, let's try our fire cake where we actually put it directly on the coals. If we don't have good leaves to work with, um, we can just try cooking our fire cake right on the coals. It's gonna char up on the outside, but that's all we have to work with, so let's do it. And we're going to place it right on the coals here. I've got a nice hot uh, section of coals. We're going to place it right on there. I'm going to use my tomahawk because this fire is hot. There we go. And I'm going to find some hot coals close by. And we're going to set them on top. We'll gent lightly and gently bury it in hot coals. I'm not going to bury it completely. I don't want to lose it in the fire. I want to be able to see around the edges just a little bit so we can watch it cooking. Well, it looks like our, our bannock board uh, fire cake is ready to pull off. It's uh, browned up all over on the outside so we're going to go ahead and pull this off the board and uh, put it onto our plate. may be tough to get off, but this one came off. Now you can see it's still a little uh, damp on that side, cooked uh, completely on that side. I, I call that done. Well, our bannock bread's off, the other one's out. It smells like our uh, ash cake that's cooking right here in the coals is probably ready to pull out too. So let's, let's pull it out. Look at that, dust the ashes off the top. We still got some that are sticking to the bottom. These gently might still be hot coals, so I'm not gonna touch them. A little bit of ash is known to, uh, to calm your di digestive tract, so the ash isn't gonna hurt you a bit. And that, it looks really good for cooking right there in the coals. So there you have it. You got the three different kinds of ash cake or fire cake. We've got our bannock board cake, uh, the one we cooked right in the ashes, and then the uh, one we used uh, the leaves for protection. Let's try these out. Definitely very edible. I think I'll have them for supper tonight.